All right, thanks again for the questions. The next question that we received was, how do I verify my site in Google Search Console? So we're gonna take you through the steps of using Yoast SEO plugin inside of WordPress. All right, thanks again for everyone who's gone to our site and clicked ask a question, and also for all the questions both on Facebook and in the YouTube comments. If you do have a question about WordPress or how to use it for your business, please ask below. Also, you can find us on these other channels or you can ask as well and we'll answer via YouTube uh, and send it out to you. So the question today was, how do I verify my site? So go ahead and go to your site and we're going to install the Yoast SEO plugin. If you log into the back end of WordPress, go to plugins and then add new. Type Yoast SEO. We really do think this is the number one plugin for SEO. There are plenty of other ones out there, but this one really gets the job done. So we'll install and then activate. All right, and it says we have an issue up here. So the why here is that Yoast SEO plugin. We'll come down to the bottom and just click the SEO. And right out of the gate, it says notifications. Don't miss your crawl errors. Connect with Google Search Console here. Google Search Console used to be called Google Web Webmaster Tools. It's actually still part of the link when you search Google themselves. Um, and the scroll errors basically tell you, hey, these are the issues with Google Search and you should try to fix them immediately. So if we head over to Google Search, I did search for Google Search Console. Um, and then you can see here it's Google slash Webmaster slash Tools. When we go there, we need to add our property, which is essentially our site, and then verify it with Yoast SEO. So click add a property. My site is this one right here. I copy. So it's your site, .com, .io, whatever you have. I'll click add. Then it says you're ready to verify. So I'll do it by HTML tag and it kind of gives me this meta tag right here. Now you can add this into the code. Um, some themes allow you to add um, code instantly into the header through a theme options, but we're gonna still use the Yoast SEO plugin to get this done. So I copy this. Yoast is really just looking for this right here, but every time you try to copy it, it copies the whole thing. So I paste it into the URL bar at the top in Chrome, and I just copy this code out. Going back to our WordPress dashboard in the Yoast area, um, we will go to Webmaster Tools. We have Bing, Google, Yandex. So I'll paste Google in there and hit save. So that's done. I'll go to Search Console. So it says here, copy the meta tag. It says show me an example. That's where it goes. Um, and then hit verify below. And then for mine, it won't didn't verify it right out of the gate. And that's because I have to clear the cache. So if you're on WP Engine, if you're using WC cache or any kind of caching, make sure to purge. That's what I'm doing right here. I'll go back and see if it takes it. There we go. It was the cache and hit continue. While we're in here, uh, we're going to go ahead and include the sitemap. I'll go to add, so it's looking for that. To find your sitemap, go to SEO at the bottom. Click sitemap, fourth one down. And then it's this button right here. And it's basically your domain slash siteman, sitemap underscore index.xml. Copy this, this is all Google wants. And paste, submit, and then you're done. So that's it for verifying with Google Search Console using Yoast SEO. If you like this, please hit the thumbs up button on YouTube. Also hit subscribe if you wanna see more videos just like this. Additionally, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and we'd love to answer them just for you. Thanks.